Hello and welcome to another GCSE Geography Help video. It's the last one of the population change unit and this time we're looking at population pyramids. So, what we're going to be looking at is the reading of the pyramids. Quite helpful if you want to do anything with it. And MEDC and LEDC shapes. Uh, this is typical shapes and will help you to identify what type of country you're looking at. So, how do you read a population pyramid? Well, here's a nice example. The line down the middle with all the numbers in, that's age groups. And then at the bottom is the population in millions. So from this population pyramid, we can find out there is a low birth rate. This is because the birth rate is about it's less than a bit in the middle, which is called the workforce, which is people that work. 18, so the 20, uh, 20 to 24, up to the 65 one, that is your workforce. Above 65 is your retired people. Now you can see here that not many babies are dying. So the gap between the 0 to 4 and the 5 to 9 is, is not very much at all. This means low infant mortality rate. Now we can draw lots of conclusions out of these graphs like good health care, family planning for the low birth rate, good health care for the elderly people because as many of them as the annotation says. So you can draw lots of things out of the simple population graph, you just have to know how to read it and what conclusions to draw from it. So, what does an LEDC pyramid look like? Well, here's Mozan's Beaks one. If you look at the 2001 in the top, it's got a high birth rate. And you can see this because the bottom bar is huge. High infant mortality rate because all the babies are dying. There's about a quarter of a million of them less on each side. Um, and the workforce is quite small. It's about half the size of the birth rate and the death rate is also quite high because people above 65 there's practically nobody there this means low life expectancy so the conclusions we can draw from this is poor health care poor family planning and small workforce meaning not much economic growth now if we look down at the 2025 one in the bottom corner we can see this is a massive improvement for Mozambique their birth rate has gone down, I know it's still big but it's gone down quite a bit. I mean, it's pr well, the birth rate's more or less the same. It's the infant mortality rate that's the one that's changed because they're, they're next to each other. They're practically the same. Obviously, a few babies die, but their health care has improved in the 25 years. We can also see that their elderly health care is slightly increased, not much, not a significant change, not much of a change. And their workforce, the lower end of their workforce, so the 20 to 30, that's fairly big. So their economic situation is getting ever so slightly better. It's still an LEDC, but getting slightly better. And this is an MEDC pyramid. This is the UK. If we look at the 2000 graph, we can see it's practically straight all the way up. There's a low birth rate, a low infant mortality rate, People are living long because there's lots of people up at the top. Now you see the scale on these two was different. The one before, it was 80 plus was the toppest. Here, 100 plus. So, that means we've got much, much more people living there if they've thought of including that extra 20 years. These are things like that you can pick up for your exam. Now from this, we can also tell there's good equality because Look at the male and female. Male is orange, female is yellow in this case. There will always be a key. So if you're not sure, look for the key. So you can see that the shapes are practically the same on each side. This shows equality. Like female people may get less health care in some companies. In the UK, this clearly isn't the case. Because they're living for just as long as the men. Now if you look at the 2025 one, Again, you've got the same sort of story. People are living a bit longer, like the 65 and upwards is generally more people there. But apart from that, there's not much change. So it's just improvements in healthcare for the elderly. 
So, that's all for this week. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope it was useful. Please leave comments in the bottom of anything you think I've left out, you want me to include in future videos, or things you don't like. Be really good to see some comments. Okay then.